Hi guys, welcome back to another Graveyard Keeper. I think this one is eight. I've lost track. I honestly have. I've done quite a few of them. I did some more playing by myself, so what, while I was doing was getting money and skulls from praying and the corpses and donkey going a little bit. I really am itching to get my alchemy set up so I can do my embalming and things like that to improve my graveyard um but before I do too much of that uh, I want to do some quests so that I can there's well there's you'll you'll see there's something that's going to start showing up in the corpses that I need to watch out for that will really improve the quality but uh, before I can do that I just I really need to be able to quote see evil unquote um the other thing I did was really loaded myself up with stuff so I made a bunch of carrot cutlets and sold them and I thought I could sell these to the merchant but I don't know that he'll buy them all of this stuff I made myself some red jelly <laughs> uh, I have been working uh, with my job the last couple of days so I haven't had time to really record like I want to I feel like I've gotten a little behind. I, I am aiming to get this this playthrough completely done by Halloween and try the DLC. I'm so curious about the DLC. Okay, I want to go see Miss Charm today. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys set up down on the table and then pop over to see Miss Charm. Really convenient to have Donkey on hold while I'm doing the recordings but it's really impractical too yeah I'm gonna have to get a few more skulls um I think some skulls I want to get the bones because bones are good in making white paint I haven't told you guys yet but you grind it up in the in the grinder and I had to remind myself and I even asked um, someone who's playing it to confirm my memory that it was it's uh, the white bone powder and oil, the seed oil, that makes the white paint. But I'm going to set Donkey up going again because I really want to get those skulls and stuff. I want to finish Snake's quest line, as much of it as I can. His and the Inquisitors. And um, that is going to involve Miss Charm. Quessel! <clears throat> but it's also going to involve the lighthouse keeper it's going to involve Miss Charm, the lighthouse keeper Snape and the Inquisitor so while I'm thinking about it I'm going to get the pumpkin and pumpkin seeds because I wasn't able to plant those last time so I used all of my apples it takes apples and berries to make that um, juice, so berry juice, and then you can use the berry juice to make slime. Well, you make the berry juice at, at your uh, kitchen table, and you make and you mix it with the slime to make um, to make the red slime. And you can also make berry pies. So <clears throat> yes, I set up a whole bunch of new chests down here to organize myself. I've got a lot of stuff down here. I've got a lot of stuff everywhere. And I got tired of. Uh, not having space for it. Too bad I can't add trunks into my house. So what I'm doing, um, honestly, I'm making sure that I'm going to have enough of that fertilizer that I'm getting from the crop waste to make better ones. And it takes a lot of crop waste to get better stuff. Yeah, but if you were wondering when you go to your table here, you can clean the nails now that you found them. Um, you can make a ceramic urn like that or you can make a porcelain urn. Now the porcelain urn also takes bone powder to make. Well let's keep fairy and stuff over. I'll get donkey going soon enough. I will come back when there's more content to show you guys on the questing. Yeah so you want that silver star pumpkin. I want your pumpkin seeds. And now I'm broke again. It's a very vicious cycle. Alright, so off to Clotho. If you're interested in the lure, 
which I know there's um, some people out there just they, they play it because it's some good gameplay and it's got a lot of it um, but Clotho has a sister in town and we'll find out who it is later but if um, if you want to know then I guess you could watch the playthrough or you can play through it yourself or because I'll get to it eventually we'll just wait and see she really was a, a, a late riser there's your pumpkin Great. This soup is the perfect dish. You just wait until all your teeth fall out. Then you'll know. So cabbage soup, pumpkin soup, and vegetable soup. Lee. That's all I wanted. Back home I go. I have to wait until I can go see the astrologer for something. Okay, so it's the time to go see the astrologer. I need to boogie over. I set up the mortuary racks specifically to store potions, pods, stuff for embalming, whatnot, and I forgot to put it in there, silly me. Alrighty, we are going over to the lighthouse. Hello, Mr. Lighthouse Keeper. This is going to be tricky. I think, uh, okay, so we'll leave. Aye, oh, I smell onions. They're my favorite vegetable. Yeah, I do have onions on me. And it's keep me in business. Well, what do you mean? I serve onion rings and onion toast. It keeps people thirsty. Ah, so I keep, so I keep selling beer. I think they were made for each other. If you like onions, I can teach you how to cook a, a couple, uh, cook a couple dishes. But remember, always eat them with a beer. Ha <laughs> ha. Onion rings and toast. Oh, bleh. onion toast sounds kind of gross to me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. All I needed from you. I'm gonna go get those exclamation papers. I got some works to do on the graveyard, y'all. I'm gonna go talk. To, I'm just um curious. Okay, this is actually a grave. It's another one that comes in handy later, as you can see. It's just a really bad. School. But this guy is actually a miller. His mill is broken. But he needs something milled to go to the town, right? So that's uh too bad. But um. He has nothing to mill. Okay. You tell him you live at the graveyard. Nice to meet you. Have some old reserves you may find useful. And if you really need to, you can you can buy stuff from him. And he's got other stuff in different tiers, which you're gonna need. Um, but not right now because I have other stuff to do with my money. But we will work his tier up because I do want he has he will have have hops to sell us. And hops is good for beer, and beer is good for business, um, and one of the quest chains. I need to go back to the corpse and burn it. Okay, so um, I'm just playing a waiting game here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make some bone ash. Because if you go to your furnace, you can see what it takes to make the better urns, the porcelain urns. here. The porcelain urns takes white powder, which is bone ash, and your ceramic jug. So I'm going to do that so I can improve my graveyard while I wait for Snake, because I think I have to talk to him to trigger something. Uh, we got so busy with the quest last time that once we finished it, I don't think we spoke to him again. Alrighty, so here goes the long, long grinding. So it's snake day, and we're going to go see if he's down there, so we can maybe catch a hint of what we need to do, because you can keep decorating his place, but he should also prompt you to speak to somebody. That is so weird that he won't prompt you, and we're not getting prompts from anyone. Feeling a little lost right now. Oh, hello, cancel. What did I get? You gave me the town pass and a stamp. Okay. That's weird and interesting. I'm going to grab some papers. So I remember how to make the... Um, 
going to make some papers. Actually, I remember how to do it. So I remember how to make the meat to sell. So I'll be back when I'm up there making the meat, you guys. And I'll show you how to use the stamp on it. I think I have to go to Hordrick. And I think he has to tell us. And you'll excuse me if I sound really, really hoarse. Because it's a um, my allergies just just been off the charts these last couple of days. So we're going to go visit Hordrick. I want to make sure that that's what has to happen. Oh, well, let me drop some stuff off right quick. I just need the royal stamp on it. I have a royal stamp, yes. Okay, so many years ago there was an accident with an inappropriate uh, meat. However, since all meat must be approved by the royal authority, and I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your stamp have, uh, does your meat have a stamp? Um, I have a stamp. Good. Then the meat just needs a little preparation on your kitchen table. Wrap it in paper and put a stamp on it and I'll gladly buy it. Okay. I do want this. I don't know how many he needed. Let's let's find out right quick. So the Inquis I need to go to the Inquisition the Inquisitor and ten silver star wines for the guides. Okay. I think I can actually swing a few now and then come back and sell some um oh oh yeah I forgot I have those <laughs> whoops I can buy some more <laughs> and then I'm gonna sell the town some rotten meat well not rotten well it probably is rotten by now Ugh. but human flesh I'm about to make these people cannibals. But I'm actually really curious why I'm not getting prompts to go on with the quest. And I think um, I'm just going to go on with the Inquisitor's part of it. Unlock some technologies, upgrade some things, come back to you guys, see if I can move forward. Because I think it's really weird that the Lighthouse Keeper has to be at a 40 and there's not a whole lot I can do with him except maybe buy some books. But that only opens up the tiers in his shop. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to make the meat for the town. I'm not going to make a whole lot because I need some for the Inquisitor's Quest. Um, meat, 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 meat. Huh. So I don't want to slice the meat. I want to actually, he said he'd make it at the kitchen table. And I, oh, huh. So I'm going to do 10. And then we're going to sell it to town and not tell them where it came from. That, that's a shush shush between us. <laughs> and I think this guy right here, he's just my unofficial mascot now. But apparently I have a town pass, so I can go to town. That's weird, but oh, cool. We're supposed to try to go to town for to find the items that we need. Oh, I didn't ever examine the oh silly me. That's what I didn't do. He um the lighthouse, the astrologer did tell us to go and examine the pedestal. So we can try and go and examine the pedestal. Alright, before the Inquisitor and his posse show up, let's go and see what's up here. Um, because if I remember correctly, you can't do it when the guards are there, they'll stop you for being nosy but I'm not sure if the guards are actually there or not anyone yeah let's go examine this thing yeah the guards are there I look at the two lights that lit up Oh god, of course. So now they're waiting here for the cultists. Oh my bad. Bad cultists. They're definitely connected with witches. Help me out. Oh god, they're witch cultist bastards and want to kill our beloved king. They they win. Oh, they'll put an end to the Great Inquisition. Yeah. Then we'll lose our jobs. Maybe you're, you're a cultist. I'm a graveyard keeper and I'm leaving. I can't check the pedestal while they're here. Yeah. So we gotta get him stunk and drunk. 
that's fine. I will be back on my way. I'm going to go sell meat to the townspeople. Human meat. And I'm not eating any of it, if you've noticed. I don't want any of that. So that's um, it's a decent price. It's not great for a delicacy. <laughs> Especially since I need to get four more wine. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. He wants ten. I have seven. Oh, uh, this means I'm... Oh, lordy. It's okay. I bought him out of wine. So all I'm doing here is I'm making some funeral urns. Because eventually I'm going to put up a... Oh, I think it's actually called a mortorium, but in here they call it something weird that I can't pronounce. But it's basically just a storage place, a wall to put up the ashes of your beloved. Oh, I forgot I have the town paper. Let's go see if we can um, get to town. Uh, curious if you're not, what is, what uh, happens if you go to town? <laughs> oh, yes, I did want that. I need to get the statues unlocked. Or do I have them unlocked? Huh. Okay. Oh, the playwright. That's what I wanted to unlock. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I try to go to town. Alright. So the way to town is actually here. We want to talk to this guy. The path to town is closed. You need a town pass. Well, I have a town pass. So come right ahead and enjoy your visit to the town. How many ways can he die? That is so interesting. So something... From beyond the grave does not, or not beyond the grave, but something that's greater than us doesn't want us going. What the heck was that? I think I was struck by lightning on my way to the town. I felt it, an ancient powerful rage bounce on over here immediately. <laughs> it would seem that someone or something of great power doesn't, well, that's what I was saying. But I'm not sure, actually. I'm pretty sure that if you keep trying things will end badly for you. Like, uh, I'm a talking skull now too, kind of bad. I need to go there. There's some magic items I need to track down. I need to go home. And I'm a little offended that you're trying to leave me. But as your friend, I suggest you talk with Snake in the church cellar. I think he'll be able to find these items for you. He's quite a nimble rogue. You know Snake. I talk with him all the time. I hide in the pile of skulls, dead skulls, and we talk. He thinks that I'm his inner voice, so he's very open with me. Did he tell you anything interesting? But as his inner voice, I find that uh, question most unethical. Okay, I'll talk with Snake. Maybe he'll be able to help. <laughs> oh, God, can you imagine how creepy it would be to have just some random skull in a pile of skulls talking to you? I don't know. He might find it comforting, for all I know. So I was going to work on my books, but um, I have to upgrade my alchemy stuff my alchemy table I have to upgrade it to a two so I need a six joining uh, two steel parts and advanced conical glass okay well I'm doing the alchemy I promised a couple episodes back all those pies I'm almost out <laughs> so I'm coming down here and I'm gonna upgrade my alchemy but I'm actually what I'm just gonna slap down another table um, and the only thing that's holding me up at the moment is faith, and that seems to be a running thing. Can I... Will you fit over here? Ugh, all that room is basically just wasted space. Uh, I could generate blue skill points, but the thing that's actually holding me up is um, faith. Because you need it for so much stuff at this point. So, I uh, see, let's, what I'm doing is tanning agent, which, I rem if I remember right, oh, look at that, it already has some of that stuff. Okay, so, I need, uh, what do I need first? Slowing powder. I'm 
trying to remember order solution and I think it's no it's order extract because I can't put the death solution in there now <clears throat> oh, I don't have death solution oh oh my gosh be back I got a mega distillation thing uh, but I think I'm just gonna buy the tanning solution from Clotho because bless it it's gonna it's really hard to get death if I remember you have to have a uh, black jelly or you have to be at a part in your um, graveyard keeping where you can see the really bad organs so the distillation cube okay let's get that up the um, distillation cube 2 there we go let's pop that young man there Smack them together. Get some solutions that I'm gonna need. Uh, it drives me insane how slow this goes. Oh, I think maybe I'm just gonna smack a couple of them up there. Okay, but at least I have some money now. I have 14. I can go get some tanning solution. Oh, hey, the church is pretty. Oh, it's gotta be at a 50, okay. No, not a problem. I will get there. When I get rich and famous. It's like a nickelback song. I wanna be rich like Elvis without the castle. Our eight bodyguards that like to beat up assholes. <laughs> no, I don't think I could handle fame. Ah, tanning, 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 tanning agent. Let me get two of those. I am really curious what that uh what that is. So I'm gonna splurge for it. It's gonna leave me broke again. But let's find out what it does. It's an alchemy recipe. Use it. Energy pot. You've unlocked a new technology. Oh, that's neat. So I'm breaking my bank to get going. I've got to, I'm going to tuck the tanning solution away until I am absolutely sure I can get what I need um, for, what, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to need you, um, so I can absolutely sure that I get what I need for the books, because it's a very precious commodity for me at the moment, and I don't, I don't want to splurge it, but I do want to go and make the... Now that I have the faith, I need to go, oh, oh yeah, there's a body here. Oopsie. I want to go make the, um, Lord, I can't, I can't think. It's, uh, the statuettes. Oh, gosh, oh, oh. I want that perk so I don't mess stuff up. Let's go engineer, engineer. Where's engineer? Still weapons. Oh, there it is. Oh, it needs. Okay. I'll be back when I get more faith. Or not faith. Oh, <laughs> when I get more of the blue points. So, making just a few gravestones, and I've got the faith I need to unlock that technology. Not the faith, the blue points. I keep calling it faith. Bless it. Okay, so I'm going to unlock that. I have that perk. I don't have any gold chisels. So I have a 70% chance of making a gold one now though. And it's a gold one. So let's see what kind of statues that we can make. I have a 30% at a gold one, but if I have the mason perk, then I have a higher chance. And that's what I want to do. I want to make sure I have that mason's perk. And I've got to find the mason's perk. So the trade, 50 and 50. There it is. It's that mason's perk. Alrighty. So I need uh, a few more of those. And like I said, they're very easy to get. You just um, create a few. Recycle your work. Make a few more. And then that's all I need. 
I'm going to recycle my work because I don't want those and I don't want to have to keep scavenging for stones. I want to cut down the having to. So let's start making those busts. No, I need to unlock the perk first. Whoopsie. Unlock. And let's see. I have a gold. It's an 80% chance now, so I want to make three of those. That's a silver. That's fine. I can use that. That one was a gold one. That's one of his statues. And I'm out of faith. So I gotta wait again to get the faith that I need, but these chisels have a durability. I don't wanna chance that. How much would it make? Let's see, I want a silver. It's still fun. Okay, and I'm still short. That's okay. I have one of the statues he wants. And one of the statues I need. The good thing about marble is that um, when you polish it, you get two polished bricks of marble for one rough one. Um... So at least you're getting an increase in it. There go all that jelly. Okay. So Gary told us to go and talk to Snake about getting electrocuted from Zeus, apparently. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it has something to do with the ancient contract, but we'll see. This mysterious ancient contract. Okay. So can you find items for me? Oh, I can find anything, just name it. So, uh, the Mirror of Pride, an Eternal Burning Coal, and a Salty Fork. <clears throat> That's some awfully weird stuff. As you may have noticed, I'm working on a very important project right now. <clears throat> so I'm a little short on time, but if you help me, maybe I'll help you. I would love to help you, um, but I can't. Oh, my lord. Nobody is doing what I need them to do. It's actually pretty aggravating because I can't I can't move forward so I'm just gonna keep working on uh, getting the graveyard in the church because at least that quest is still uh, letting me move forward mm. it's very frustrating I wonder if I have to go dig that zombie up I hope not because I'm not set up for that yet I'm working towards it <clears throat> 